We're going on a road trip. We're going upstate. We're gonna go through my mom's attic, find and get rid of a lot of things. And I have a feeling we're gonna find a lot of trash and a few treasures. Where we're going is Goshen, New York. When I graduated high school, my family wanted to support my dreams of moving to New York and pursuing this fashion career. So, my family, as amazing as they are, packed up their house in St. Louis, sold our childhood home, and moved to Goshen. Now we're moving on back to St. Louis. <laughs> it's gone full circle. We're driving! is my baby. It is my very first purchase with my very first paycheck. So many memories in this car. I think I had like one of my first kisses in this car. Hey. Welcome home. <laughs> oh, go in that room. See the, ar the archives. Oh, Welcome yeah. to the archives. Oh my God. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be like a trip down me memory lane. This is a really special piece. This is an Alexander McQueen off the runway original from I think his last collection. We all had like bleached eyebrows and alien looking hairdos and shoes and this is a really special piece that I hope to have forever and I want to keep it in good condition. The best shows to do in New York, especially when I first started, for trade because I didn't care about money, I cared about good clothes and that was Alexander Wang, Marc Jacobs, and Derek Lamb, Jason Wu, but especially Alexander Wang and Marc Jacobs paid in the best trade possible. And it's basically this barter system where you walk in a runway show for an upcoming designer or for somebody like Marc Jacobs and they pay you in clothing. So I remember just picking like some of the most eccentric looking pieces just because I thought they were interesting. This I think is probably one of them. This is marked by Marc Jacobs shirt. Same thing with Zach Posen. I walked the Zach Posen show many times. And this is a shirt from him. Oscar de la Renta garment bag, but inside there is not only the dress that I wore to the Met Ball when I went with Oscar de la Renta, but also there's a Chanel vintage dress in here. All of that is archive. There were, that was a really special night. Okay, another Chanel dress. That actually, I should wear that. Thumbs up if I should wear it. Fits. This Juicy Couture velour jacket was my most prized possession. I mean, I was like, I I'm, I'm, feel like it probably smells so bad because I was afraid to wash it. This Redarte hand-knitted sweater, like one of a kind, is probably very, very valuable, and I told you we were gonna find treasures like this. Okay, this is from my very first Victoria's Secret runway show in 2011. This is from the Victoria's Secret show as well. The white leather crystal studded jacket that every girl dreams of wearing. I did this Vogue shoot where I was shot like a story with all of these Olympic athletes and they gave me their shoes and hats and swim caps and <laughs> some of these swim trunks. I don't think they were used, I hope not. These gotta go. I was obsessed with Uggs, wore them every single day and now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. Cranking along here. I lost count of how many boxes we went through. All I know is that I just went through 10 years of clothes, of shoes, of things, of memories, and I feel much better going through all this. And now, I'm exhausted. Thanks, Mom. Um, uh, let me get to it. It was... The office is under construction this week. He's out. So, we had a out of office adventure to Goshen and it was very productive and I'm very appreciative to my mom for holding all of that crap for 10 years. Now, 
it's sorted and I feel like it's spring cleaning like actually that was really therapeutic and I found some really special things so okay peace out